I'm thinking more and more about the man I want to become. This this Canada visa situation is coming at a good time. I've been in Canada for six months now, just about six months, and I need to make a decision. Is it to stay or to go? And I've been thinking a lot about the direction that I'm going to be taking, how I can integrate each of the actions that I'm taking in in pursuit of this in pursuit of this singular goal, this singular goal which is to become my higher self, to become more than I am now, forsaking the elements of my current state in life that no longer serve me so that I can become something else. One thing that I've been pondering on is who that that man is what it is that he's good at what it is that he is capable of i've always wanted to be multilingual that was why i learned chinese but i never wanted to stop at chinese i always wanted more in the past i never really knew why and this is actually really really significant to me I think I've discovered one of one of the most profound sources of significance in the world. It's not about having a strong why. That's what that's what everybody online talks about. You need to know what your why is. But there's actually a different way to think about it that's much more powerful and that is is this goal that I have right now connected to every other goal that I have? The reason that we stop doing things, in my experience, is because we don't see the purpose of it after an extended period of time. Like if we want to get better at something, we'll try it. It didn't successfully integrate into our life, so we stopped. I think that everybody is guilty of this in some way or another. I'm guilty of it for instruments. I'm guilty of it for languages. I pick them up, I try them, then I stop because they didn't mean enough to me. They weren't integrated into the image that I had of myself in the future. I didn't want to just set a goal and accomplish it for the sake of accomplishing it because it's a lot of hard work to get good at an instrument or a language. But by instead thinking of it as there is this person that I am in the future and this person that I am in the future is able to do this, then that means that you are going to become that person if you want it. If you want to become that person, if you know who you're going to be in the future, then you don't need to worry about finding your passion or finding all these things that you want so that you can have clarity on like what your goals should be. All you need to know is who do I want to be in the future? And then you close the gap of where you are and where you want to be. Something that I am working on, I guess today, is that I want to decide upon what is the next language that I want to learn? Because the, the future vision of myself is a man that speaks multiple languages. So it's time to start closing the gap. I never knew why in the past I wanted to learn multiple languages. I think I explained that in another video. Like, why did I learn Chinese? I really don't know. But I later discovered why. It's to unlock the world. So I need more languages so that I can unlock more of the world and I'll continue to develop my sales skill so that I can improve my communication skills with these people around the world. And then what it's building up to is it's a grand, glorious vision of what the future will be like for me. So, goal for today is to choose the next language that I'm going to learn. And I'll share that with you tomorrow.